the language of innovation. First, take your Wurble and put the burbles inside. A skittle or two should do it. Then fill your Wurble with Washavi Wimberth and let it stand for a couple of sibyls. Pour it carefully, add limosol and octrin to taste, and there you have it. The perfect quad of mard. What? Language matters. First take your teapot, put the tea leaves inside, a spoonful or two should do it, and fill your teapot with boiling water, let it stand for a couple of minutes, pour it carefully, add milk and sugar to taste, and there you have it. The perfect cup of tea. Innovation. It's just the same challenge. If we don't have the right words to describe it, we can't really work with it. So this module is about how we work with innovation by looking at some of the language we use. So let's begin with some clear definitions. As we've already seen, innovation is about creating value from ideas. Now, our definition of entrepreneurship is simply the skills and the craft for making this happen. It doesn't happen by accident, and people who are good and skilled entrepreneurs are able to repeat the innovation trick time and again because they've learned how to make the journey. And entrepreneurs, well, they're the people who make innovation happen. Maybe in a startup, maybe inside an organization, maybe as social innovators, but they're all people who make change happen. So innovation comes originally from the Latin. The word means or comes from in and novare. And that means something new, to make something new, to change. But change, of course, involves different degrees of novelty. We can have fairly small scale change, doing what we do, but a little bit better. We can do something a little more radical, do something different. And occasionally we can do something disruptive, something that changes the game. 